In this video, we will demonstrate the Equilibart EPR3000 high pressure electronic regulator being used as a pilot for an Equilibart Research Series back pressure regulator. These components are very useful in controlling chemical process pressures, such as the effluent from a catalyst research reactor. The EPR3000 electronic pilot requires a high pressure nitrogen supply and vents to atmosphere only when you lower the desired set point. The control pressure from the EPR3000 supplies the dome port of the Equilibar back pressure regulator, which precisely controls process gas pressure to closely match the supplied pilot pressure. In this video, we will use a separate nitrogen supply to simulate chemical process gases. We will use a needle valve to simulate varying flow rates coming from a research reactor. The process pressure is measured by a WICA pressure sensor. The process gas flow rate is visualized by a bank of rotometers. We will demonstrate precise pressure control on the process WICA sensor as we change the set point to the EPR3000 high pressure pilot and as we vary the process gas flow rate. Here we have the pilot connected to a research series H3P1. The process pressure, the inlet of the back pressure regulator, is being monitored by a WICA gauge here. Uh, the flow rate is being controlled via a needle valve here, and the flow rate is being monitored via a rotometer bank located right here. So first, we will demonstrate changing the pilot pressure. Um, first, we'll take an increase in pilot pressure. So I'll adjust this valve. Currently, is at 2,000. We'll go up to 3,000. I'll hit set and you see the pilot pressure increase to 3,000. Here, the inlet pressure is slowly building. Uh, the build is a function of the flow rate uh, of the system, so we'll increase the flow rate just to demonstrate a faster build. As you see, the inlet pressure is quickly climbing, and once it hits 3,000 PSI, it will stop and uh, remain constant uh, due to the pilot pressure being at 3,000 PSI also. Next, we will demonstrate a decrease in pilot pressure. So I will adjust the valve down to 2,000 PSI. Hit set. And the inlet pressure quickly falls to match the pilot pressure. Once again, we'll go back up. This time, uh, just a few hundred PSI to 2,300. And you can see the pilot pressure quickly build to match the to match uh, the, the set point. Finally, we will take a look at the flow rates here. The system is currently operating at 2600 PS, uh, 2600 cc's a minute. What I'll do is adjust the needle valve um, to demonstrate how the pilot pressure and the inlet pressure. Uh, remain stable although the flow rates are changing in the system. So first I will just shut this needle valve all the way off and you can see that the flow rate has dropped and is now at zero flow. The pilot and the inlet pressure are remaining stable at 2300. Next I will increase this needle valve to a flow rate of about 15 liters a minute. Once again, the pilot pressure and inlet pressure are stable at 2300 PSI.